What's up everyone, it's Rifle here, and thanks for checking out this video. In this one I'm going to be showing you guys a great method to get weapon attack mods, specifically kinetic. In case you guys don't know, this is a way to increase your power level so you're able to reach 305 easier. I don't know if you guys have reached 280 yet, but when you reach 280 power, things start to slow down drastically. I'm a little above 290 at the moment, I know, not the highest whatsoever. I could switch up a little bit of my gear if I wanted to to get a little higher. I might be like a 294 or something like that, max. But that's not what's important. What's important is what I'm about to be showing you guys. This is going to be great for leveling up and also to get you guys some nice loot with the weapon mods. Okay, so however much glimmer you have, you want to spend half of it. As you can see, I have 100,000, so I'm going to go ahead and spend 50,000 on these blue mods. From Banshee. Now I'll be explaining here in a little bit what these will be for. So as you can see I'll just go ahead and spend half of my glimmer which will be a lot of blue mods. So I'll get back to you guys when I finish up these purchases. Okay oh spent one over half but that doesn't matter. As you can see down here I can now exchange my blue mods for these which is pretty handy. So this is all the blue mods I have right now. Quite a bit. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and exchange them and get a bunch of legendaries out of those blue mods. This is basically just a jump start to this method. By the way, I learned this from a guy that goes by Cost Gaming, so shout out to him. This is a very efficient way, I have to say. Okay, so I got not enough space. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's quite a bit. So now I want to go to my mods and delete the legendaries that I don't want. So, you know, choose what mods you want and don't want. I'm just going to delete a lot of these just so I can show off the effectiveness of this method more. So as you can see, to the right I am collecting mod components, which mod components are crucial in what we are doing right now with this method. And I'll get more into that the further I get into this. So yeah, just keep exchanging your blue mods in for these legendary mods you don't want to dismantle your blue mods I don't know if you guys knew you could do this but yeah this is very handy so I'm gonna go ahead and keep my void arc and solar damage mods just because I want to self repairing mod I might keep that as well um, solar impact nah don't want that don't want that so once again just delete the legendaries that you don't want to collect these mod components Okay, so now I've exchanged all that I could exchange from Banshee, as you can see. Now this is when the farming begins. First, as you can see, I only have 39 mod components at the moment. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a decent amount. You can get me quite a bit. But, I'm going to show you a way that's more effective. So you want to go to your vault and go over to your collections. Well, first off, you want to make sure that your inventory is completely empty so you don't accidentally dismantle a weapon that you like. So yeah, make sure you do that first. Put them in your vault, the weapons you want to keep. Now, we want to go to collections once again, and we're going to just get a bunch of exotics and dismantle them. So I'm just going to buy a bunch of Mita Multi Tools, a bunch of a power weapon, such as Merciless, and a bunch of a special exotic as well. Now this will waste a lot of legendary shards, but this is a very effective way to get mods, specifically kinetic weapon mods, because that seems to be the most rare right at the moment. And you also get legendary shards back too. I mean, you don't completely waste all your shards. I have quite a bit at the moment, so you know, this is what you can use on shards. I know some of you guys out there might have a lot as well and just wondering what you can spend them on. This is what you can spend your glimmer and legendary shards on. I'm not spending glimmer at the moment, but you know, Banshee requires glimmer. Okay, so I have a max amount in my inventory now. I just simply dismantle all of the exotics you just put into your inventory. As you can see, you get three gunsmith materials and five legendary shards. Those gunsmith materials are going to be recycled, of course, to gunsmith. That's the whole reason why we just did this, to collect the materials. And also, you can continue using the legendary shards for this method until you run completely dry. I highly suggest trying this out because I don't know if you guys know the importance of weapon mods, but they're pretty important to increase your power level. And also, not to mention, to make your build a lot better. Alright, so I have officially dismantled 
all of the exotics that I got out of the collections from using my legendary swords and now as you can see I have 142 gunsmith materials I think you get about 81 each time you do that so it's definitely a fast way to get gunsmith materials now what you want to do is turn in the gunsmith materials level up and you will notice you'll still get some legendary mods blue mods as well and weapons that you can dismantle for more gunsmith materials I got quite a bit of level ups right there now just go to your inventory dismantle what you got unless you want to keep some you got of course I'll go ahead and delete these and what else did I get and this okay I don't care about what's over there at the moment now you know exchange your blue mods that you got if you're able to from that and then afterwards go to your inventory and delete the legendary mods that you just got that you don't want now as you can see I got 42 mod components to use and of course each time you use this it's going to cost you a glimmer as well that's why I told you to use about half of your weapon mods to get this jump started so you'll have more mod components to be able to you know exchange for these weapon mods so let's go ahead and exchange all these and get whole bunch of weapon mods but yeah you basically just want to rinse and repeat this until you get what you want and you're able to increase your level more so yeah let's see did I get anything I want probably did okay I got some solar damage mods arc damage mods void damage mods weapon attack mods check it out BAM equip this to a kinetic or exotic weapon to increase its attack value I got seven of those just by doing that once it's definitely a handy trick guys I'm telling you I mean check this out I'll go ahead and equip the kinetic attack mod to this nightshade I mean watch this BAM 296 that easy once again those can be equipped to exotics as well but yeah this is all I really wanted to show you Hopefully you found this enjoyable and it ends up helping you guys out. And also I wanted to save this until the very end about my giveaway that I'm doing. I am giving away a Destiny 2. So yeah, if you're entering into this, just remember to show some support on my videos by leaving likes. Subscribe if you haven't. And also click that bell to stay notified with my uploads if you haven't. And comment down below what platform you're wanting a Destiny 2 for and what you enjoyed about this video. Once again, I hope this ends up helping you guys out because I tell you what, it'll end up helping me out. I'm out of here though, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. And until next time, peace.